Hi, Robert. This is Margie. Just want to respond to your response to me. Um, I agree with you 100% that we do have a dual responsibility to follow man, but we do have a greater responsibility to follow God. Um, and uh, you also said the challenge for us is do we follow the law of the land and disregard the eternal law of God and allow society to influence and dictate our actions or decisions? My um, comment to that is that, yep, we can follow the law of the land and also follow God. God comes first for me. Uh, all the laws of the land are not bad. Those when I, ones that conflict with my religious belief, um, then I will hang my hat on the religious belief. For an example, when clients come to my office, I tell them that this is my office. We have certain ground rules. We're going to treat each other with dignity and respect. If they need to fuss and all that stuff, I tell them that they can do that outside the office for free. But in my office, that we're going to give each person time to speak, um, time to express their opinions, and we're going to, again, treat each other with dignity and respect. Um, let's see. Because um, I was looking at um, Ed Wimberly's book, talking about prayer and counseling. And for me, and I agree with him wholeheartedly, um, pastoral counseling is a process of helping persons clear up their emotions and interpersonal blocks rooted in past relationships that frustrate the person's ability to discern God's work and presence in their lives. And uh, there are many ways you can do that. I choose to do it um, the godly way. Um, a lot of my clients don't come in saying that they believe in God and they're quoting scripture and Bible and all that stuff. But I do believe that the way they carry themselves, the way that I carry myself, again, treating them with dignity and respect and with love. And they can tell. They can tell. Um, some people, like Colin said, some people get kind of intimidated when you're constantly quoting scriptures. But I believe that we can get God's point on over, God's point of uh, the discernment, um, let me say it this way, we can get God's discernment over to clients other than quoting scriptures to them. Um, and like you said, we can love them um, like God has loved us. Um, I agree with you on the last paragraph you talked about how God intended the original marriage to be that of, with Adam and Eve, to be that of both men and women. Um, but everyone's not perfect, and um, all of us have sinned and fallen short, and that's how come Jesus came to save us. And so we have to work with those clients who, um, well, that's the reason why they come, because if everything was perfect in their lives, they would not even come to counseling. But we got to meet people where they are. That's one of the things we talked a lot about in seminary, that we have to meet people where they are and help them to get to where they will want them to be, where they will want to be, and also where God will want them to be. And there are never ways we can do that. Um, different strokes for different folks. Um, but the bottom line is that we want to help people to get to where they want to be and where we think that God wants them to be. Thank you for responding to my post. Take care.